the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 64, Deuteronomy 15 to 17. When a slave becomes the master, the people of Israel were trained as a community of faith while they periodically observed feasts according to the laws and could share joy with neighbors. First point, the Israel nation who used to be slaves in Egypt became the landowners of Canaan. Before Exodus, the Israel nation lived as slaves in Egypt, working long and hard hours. But God led the people to their freedom through Moses. These people in 40 years were able to become the landowners of Canaan. To the people who experienced living as slaves, God told them the rule about the year for canceling debts. This was every seventh year. During this time, the people had to think about how they used to be slaves and the importance of considering their neighbors and giving freedom to those who did not have it. Second point, a gathering three times every year meant that they were able to reduce defense cost and strengthen their security. Almost all countries put an enormous amount of money towards maintaining peace and national security. A lot of tax is used for this, but a kingdom of priests was maintained through the three yearly festivals. On the condition that they cut these three festivals, God promised them that five would chase a hundred and that they would be able to store new grains on top of their unfinished leftover grains. As such, a kingdom of priests was designed to be a holy nation. Later on, we see how blessed the nation became under Samuel's leadership. Renewing those who lived as they pleased days of the judges, the nation under Samuel experienced the bliss of a kingdom of priests. Third point, together with the Israel nation, God dreamed of protecting those who were weak in society. These were the words spoken by God. There will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed toward your fellow Israelites who are poor and needy in your land. God also explained clearly about how to treat the poor. If anyone is poor among your fellow Israelites in any of the towns of the land, the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward them. Rather, be open-handed and freely lend them whatever they need. Be careful not to harbor this wicked thought. The seventh year, the year for cancelling debts, is near so that you do not show ill will toward the needy among your fellow Israelites and give them nothing. They may then appeal to the Lord against you, and you will be found guilty of sin. Give generously to them, and do so without a grudging heart. Then, because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. God wanted the Israel nation to consider those who were poor in society through a kingdom of priests. He said, Be joyful in your festival. You, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, and the Levites, the foreigners, the fatherless, and the widows, who live in your towns. God's focus was always on all nations as well as the poor and the weak in society. 
Fourth point, God's justice and forgiveness are like two sides of a coin. God of justice is always pleased to see a righteous trial. Hence, God told all the tribes of Israel and their leaders to always implement a righteous trial. Moreover, God told them that judgment belongs to God. In the case where a trial had to be done again, God said that the judge was to be a priest from the tribe of Levi. The important factor here was that judgment was based on forgiveness, not punishment. The reason God involved the priest was the priest's law being to help the person receive forgiveness from God, however big their sin was if they had the willingness to repent. Fifth point, if a monarch was to start, the system had to be changed to state law. To the Israel nation who was to enter the promised land Canaan, God warned through Moses of the possibility of them requesting a king. God wanted the Israel nation to understand that monarchy involved serving a king and the king ruling over the people. God warned the people of six things. The first was that the one to be raised had to be appointed by God. The second was that it had to be summoned from the Israel nation. The third was that they were not to expand their army so as to become dependent on military power. The fourth was to ensure that they would not marry multiple women. The fifth was not to store too much silver or gold, and the sixth was for the potential king to always have God's laws at the back of his mind. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.